You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. Following the circulation on social media of a footage, the cybercrime directorate at the Ministry of Interior affirmed that a citizen named Mekki Kuwait from Sitra, who was detained by the Qatari authorities by sea, has been questioned on receiving a monthly wage of 10,000 Qatari riyals in return for information on the movement of Bahrain's security forces in Sitra. The event represents a case interference in Bahraini affairs and a breach of security treaties and other responsibilities, as entailed by membership in the GCC and the principle of good neighborliness and the relevant legal steps are now being taken. In the presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Zayani, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs held a virtual celebration for all its employees to mark the Diplomacy Day. Dr. Zayani expressed his sincere gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for the generous care, attention, and support they accord to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and its employees. He affirmed to continue the diplomatic march and praised all efforts that contributed to the diplomatic achievements of the kingdom. The minister then honored the winners of the initiative program, praising their sincere sincerity, dedication, and the spirit of responsibility that they exerted to contribute to the development of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. He stressed the ministry's keenness to implement these ideas, wishing them continued success. The government has held a meeting with the Financial and Economic Affairs Committee at the Shura Council and Council of Representatives to discuss the general state budget for the fiscal years 2021-2022. The government was represented by the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Minister of Labor and Social Development, Jamil Hamidan, the Parliament Minister, Ghanim Al Bouainain, the Minister of Health, Faiq Al Saleh, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani. The virtual meeting aims to showcase the importance of continuing social support programs for citizens, developing health services, and strengthening plans related to diversifying and spurring economic growth. The government said the citizens' interests represent a top priority in its plans, stressing keenness on drawing up the draft general budget for the two fiscal years, despite the exceptional circumstances resulting from COVID-19 and the challenges of low oil prices in global markets. It stressed the importance of maintaining social support for the most needy citizens, continuing to improve the efficiency of government-run services and increasing their effectiveness. It pointed out administrative expenses are being reduced and the efficiency of spending has been increased. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, participated in the virtual meeting of the 10th special session of the General Conference of the Arab Bureau for Education for the Gulf States. During the meeting, they approved the recommendation presented by the Executive Council of the Bureau regarding the appointment of the candidate of Saudi Arabia, Dr. Abdurrahman bin Mohammed Al Asimi, the new Director General of the Arab Education Office, for a period of four years. The meeting thanked the former Director General Dr. Ali Abdul Khaliq Al Qarni for his efforts in supporting an enrichment of the educational field in the member states and strengthening the role of the office office at the regional and global levels. In the presence of the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the National Oil and Gas Authority signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the environmental company Any Rewind. The memorandum, signed through remote visual communication, aims to enhance joint cooperation between the two sides by identifying a set of initiatives aimed at achieving integrated management of water resources, soil management and landfills, and enhancing their utilization in a manner that enhances the kingdom and the sector's progress in implementing the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. The memorandum also includes benefiting from the advanced technology expertise that any possesses through the treatment, recycling and use of water in the oil sector as well as waste treatment and soil reclamation. The Ministry of Health said that the total number of individuals vaccinated as, as of Thursday, the 14th of January, stands at 110,000. The Ministry renewed its call that the vaccines are a safe and effective way of protecting individuals, their families and the community as a whole. The national vaccination campaign continues across the kingdom to implement the government's proactive plans to confront the coronavirus pandemic. The Ministry of Health indicated that electronic channels are available for registration for those wishing to take the vaccine, whether they are citizens or residents who have reached the age of 18 and above. Above. Individuals can choose the health center and the type of vaccine they want to take, noting that vaccines approved in the kingdom are safe and effective and are provided free of charge for everyone. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,127 active cases with 169 recoveries and 342 registered new cases. 178 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 155 were contacts of active cases and 8 were travel-related. The Ministry of Health announces the death of a 61-year-old male citizen from COVID-19 and expresses its condolences to the family of the deceased. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force to combat COVID-19.